Hi, I'm Glenda Huff, a district math coach with Clark County School District. Research shows that students learn more when they're engaged in hands-on activities. Algebra blocks provide an opportunity for students to engage in activities by representing algebra in a very concrete way with concrete manipulatives. So let's take a look at algae blocks. Here's our basic mat with our algae blocks. And if you think of the basic mat as a number line and this being zero on your number line, here are all your negative numbers and here are all of your positive numbers. You can also think of the mat as a thermometer with this being zero. Here are your numbers above zero and here are your numbers below. We can use the mat to model integers. The two green units are in the positive region, so those two green units represent a positive two. These three green units are in the negative region, so they represent a negative three. One of the things that we do with algebra blocks is model addition and subtraction of integers. So let's model a problem. If we wanted to add a positive two and a negative three. One thing that our students would do is clearly recognize that these two units are equal to zero because they're opposites, a positive one and a negative one. With algebra blocks, we refer to those as zero pairs. There's another zero pair here. When we use algebra blocks, we basically want to clean our mats. So if we clean our mats of our zero pairs, we remove them from our mat which leaves us with a negative one. So we just modeled the addition of positive two plus negative three, and we now know that that sum is a negative one. We also want our students to model that by drawing what they just did. So we can make a mini mat on paper. Here's our positive region, here's our negative region. We modeled a positive two, and a negative three. Then we looked for our zero pairs so we could clean our mat. So here's a zero pair and we're going to model that we're removing that from the mat. Here's another zero pair and we're going to model that by removing it from the mat. We're only left with that one integer in the negative region. So we clearly modeled that a positive two plus a negative three is equal to negative one. We can also use the basic algebra block mat to model subtraction of integers. So if we had a negative four and we wanted to subtract two, students will clearly see that we don't have positive two to take away. So they go back to the idea of zero pairs. So they realize that if they add one zero pair here, they're getting very close to taking away two. All it takes is one additional zero pair, and now we have enough to take away our positive two. If we remove the positive two from the mat, then we're left with negative six. This emphasizes for students that when you subtract an integer, what you're basically doing is adding back the opposite. So in order for us to subtract the positive two, we needed to add on the mat the opposite of positive two, which is negative two. Algebra blocks can be used to model a range of algebra concepts. So remember, research shows that children learn more when they're engaged in hands-on activities.